What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Oh my goodness, I <laughs> bad hair day. This is what I do, Tim, my electrician. Uh, we are at the Red Hawk bathroom right now, and uh, if you haven't been watching those updates, go and watch those updates because this place is turning out awesome. If you have watched them, here's where we're at right now. Almost done. Almost done. Okay, so that, that's not what you're here. You're here because of this guy right here, the docking drawer. So if you saw from the title, uh, we're going to install this docking drawer here. I've kind of got a head start on it already, but let me take you through what we're doing. So we have our cabinets and we're gonna put a docking drawer outlet right there in this top drawer. You see, I got it laid out already here with my template. Um, and we'll go through that in a minute, but it's very simple as far as pre-planning. All you have to do is put an outlet back there. That's it. There's no Smurf tube. There's no nothing. Um, you just run a standard outlet in the back of your cabinet. And then the docking drawer already has a plug on it with a nice slim 90 degree on it. And that just plugs into it. So you basically just, it's like an extension cord with an outlet is really what it is. But this nice pivoting arm here is the star of the show, we're going to call it. So it's got a nice, nice motion to it. A couple screws right here on the back side that gets mounted to the back of the cabinet with the plug. The instructions are very, very easy and laid out. Gives you minimum widths for the different style docking drawers. So we're just doing the single blade, not the blade duo. Um, but it gives you everything you need to do. Just tape the template onto the back of the drawer, drill it, cut it out, screw it in, screw it in, put your plate, and you're good to go. I mean, literally, it's that easy. So, let's see what we can do. Now, I know I already said it, but you're supposed to screw the template to the back of the drawer, and I went to the inside of the drawer. So I'm gonna change that around, but I found my center and all that stuff, but there it is, so let's get to it. And before I forget, let's go through the old standard. Please like and subscribe, comment, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. Let me know what you think of the docking drawer. If you like what you see, go follow them on Instagram. Follow me at The Remodeler's Life on Instagram as well. Um, also my company, GMH Remodeling. Check us out online. Check out our Instagram, all that fun stuff. But stay tuned for a follow-up on this one. All right, here we go. Now my template is in the right spot. And excuse the tape, but I just want to make sure that everything's protected the right way. But I got my center mark with the drawer marked, center mark of the template marked, center mark for the height of the inside of the drawer here. So we're just going to tape it on. We're going to drill some holes. And then we'll take the jigsaw and cut out the template. So. <laughs> phone ring is that these holes in the center of the outlet is pretty much lined up. So now we should be able to just feed all this right through. Boom. There you have it. Computer is installed. Yeah, installed, right? That's fit, nice and nice and pretty. And what I can do too is you can offset this either way depending on the size of your drawer. So if you wanted it more over here or over there, you can. I just went dead center because if you look, let me show you the camera here. I went center that way. Nothing was offset, and it still fits in the drawer space. And if you know, if I install it this way, and the, the arm needs to go the other way to clear something, I still have the room on this side over here to clear it. So go ahead and screw this in, and. Pretty much from there, we're done. Let's go. So 
Diamond Guard does supply you with all the screws that you need. They give you these four little screws here. Because they're so tiny and it's nice soft wood, I'm not going to pre-drill them. It's just not needed. Wait, wrong screws. I knew I was doing something wrong. So they give you, I'm seeing firsthand here, folks. Bigger head screws, that's for going in to this bracket back here into the cabinet, and then they have smaller head screws to hold the outlet in place. I just simply miscounted. So. in we can put this into the drawer we'll have to pull out the other drawers to enable us to actually screw this bracket back there so I'm gonna have to pull these out and pull some pull some magic and try and get that thing screwed in back there somehow some way it'll be kind of fun so um, pro tip even though this is my first time doing it install this before you put a countertop in it'll make life so much so much easier all right so we are in Kind of. So, see my drawer is in place. And thankfully, even for idiots like me, they give you a screw hole down low enough here where I can still get a screw in there and positively locate that. And then I can, once that should hold, hopefully hold the drawer in place, I can pull this drawer out, that'll stick, play, stick in, and then I can screw in the other ones. And then all I have to do is plug in my plug into the outlet, and we should be good to go. We'll find out. Let's do it. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm sure that cord is just blocking, blocking visuals so good. So good. Oh my god. Oh, it's tight. I need an electrician for this. If my plan works, I'll just do this like that. And then I'm going to take two more screws like this. Like this. Okay. Docking drawer is installed. Technically, right? Yeah. So, little cinch or what do you twist tie on here to help cord you help you hold the cord in the right spot but we're gonna basically just plug that right in and then remove all that cord anyways or not remove it but tie it back up so it's not in the way for anything now that it's all plugged in basically just re Retie this all together, just like this. So I do like, I know you guys can't see me, but whatever it is what it is here. Um, this is all in the moment, okay? Deal with it, people. Uh, this is all, there's plenty of cord here to, to have this outlet pretty much be anywhere. So it's a nice touch. You don't have to have it all tucked up. You could have it down down low if you really wanted to, but instead it's, it's all up there. So this is the first time doing it. So now docking drawer is installed. Oh, I did shots. Look at that. So now in action. I love it. I love it. That's, that's nice. That is real. Real nice. So, there's that. 
Docking drawer installed. Now, I don't know what this button is. I'm guessing that's just a reset. We'll read the instructions and find out, but overall, pretty slick little setup. Went really, really smoothly. Nice and done. Docking drawer. Check them out.